Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Do for Beginners. Today we are going to discuss one use case in accounting with multi currency and reconciliation. So what the use case is that we are located in India. Our base currency is INR, but having the business of import and export, we are doing the payment in USD as well as we are accepting the payments in USD. So how we can handle and how we can do the reconciliation of that payment against forex charges as well as the bank fees this is very important okay so what i am going to do so for that let me activate some of the settings some of the configurations as we are dealing with that multi currency so let me activate that multi currency here you can see that i have already activated with multi currency and we are doing the payment in usd so i have activated that and have added some of the rates on 1st april 8th april and today's rate First April rate is the 84 INR. Okay. Now what I am going to do? I am going to create one bill. Okay. So as I am selecting my vendor, which is Alias. Okay. Bill date is the back date. Let's consider the first of April and accounting date is also first of April. Okay. Now what I am going to do? I am going to select any of my product, removing the GST for simplifications and that thousand. This bill is in the USD as we are dealing with that import and export business. So now let me save it for now. Okay, if I'm going to save it on the date of first April, the rate is eighty four thousand. Okay, so just let me confirm it. Now here the reconciliation will be there. I am going to do the reconciliations against bill directly. Okay, so what I'm going to do? I'm just duplicating this and creating one transactions. as we are receiving the payment on today's date so here transactions will be there i like to do those transactions with that kanban view i'm just going to create today's date alias and our amount now this is very important currently i am doing this manually but if we are doing the import then it will be easily over here now here the forex charges are there along with that bank charges is also there So against eighty four, we are doing the payment of eighty six six thousand. This is the thing. I am going to add that eighty six thousand payment against bill on today's date. I am just going to add and close. Okay. So now the reconciliation process. Here I am going to select. Who do will do that? Okay. So here what happens? I am going to select so that difference. Because today's rate is eighty five point twenty two, so that difference of one two to one point sixty seven would automatically take forex exchange loss. That's fine. But here now, think is regarding with that seven seven eight point thirty three. This is particularly our bank fees. So how we can do that? So here you can see that I am selecting this. I am going to the manual operation, and this will be not our creditors. It will be our bank fees. So I am going to do that bank fees. So it will be that. So here for creditors eighty four thousand one two two one for that my forex exchange loss and seven seven eight point thirty three is my bank fees. I'm just going to do the validate and our reconciliation is there. We can do the same process with that invoice also. So let's do that process so it will be more clear. I'm just going to create one invoice. So let me create the invoice for my any of customer. I'm selecting that customer which is Miss Jess. I am selecting that invoice date again for that first April, and now I am going to add any of my products, and let me add the same product over here, and removing the taxes, prices is thousand, and again this is my USD. Okay, now let me just save it, and here you can see that on that day eighty four thousand is there, and I am just going to confirm it. So here just let me add that address date over here. Okay. So the state is that. Let me add. Let me add something. Invoices. Going to confirm. We have to add that addresses. Just let me add for that companies. I have that companies. I'm going to add that state. Everything is there. I'm just going to confirm. Okay. So now let me go to again my invoice. And now let me make it. That invoice confirm. Okay, now I have confirm correct address. Don't forget to state field. I don't know what I have missed. Companies. 
ओके आई हैव वेंट आई डिड गुजरात ओके एंड दैट इज माय लेट्स कंसीडर कंपनी वन नो वरीज फॉर दैट कंपनी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड दैट गुजरात एंड सी ओके नाउ थिंक इज दैट ओके नाउ लेट मी कम टुवर्ड्स माय इनवॉइस अगेन Now this is thing. I'm just going to confirm it. Why I'm not sure why this is happening. Companies. This is my company one. Why it doesn't fix this? Okay, let's take this name. No worries. Okay, let's check that again. That state is there. Okay, fine. Now everything is there. Now let me go to that invoice again. and let me make it that invoice confirmed okay let me open that okay now i'm just going to confirm it now what i'm going to do doing the payment doing the reconciliation against this invoice directly so i'm going to that dashboards accounting dashboards okay so i'm going to that here i'm going to do the transactions i like to have that can ban you I'm just going to create my today's date. It's our partner is Miss Jess. Now see, based on today's date, we are accepting in eighty-six thousands and payment payment received. Okay, this is going to add and close. Now this is the thing. would automatically suggest this but now the difference is in exchange profit and if you can see that i am going to that my bank fees okay and just going to validate this so main important thing is that just let me validate it okay so main thing is that that when we are doing the reconciliation we do takes those difference in forex gain or forex loss but if we want to include those in bank fees also then how we can do this you can do from your sides and let me know if you have any queries thank you